Chapter 12 Devotional Service Arjuna inquired, Which are considered to be more perfect, those who are always properly engaged in your devotional service, or those who worship the impersonal Brahman, the unmanifested? The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, Those who fix their minds on my personal form and are always engaged in worshipping me with great and transcendental faith are considered by me to be most perfect. But those who fully worship the unmanifested, that which lies beyond the perception of the senses, the all-pervading, inconceivable, unchanging, fixed and immovable, the impersonal conception of the absolute truth, by controlling the various senses and being equally disposed to everyone, such persons engaged in the welfare of all at last achieve me. For those whose minds are attached to the unmanifested, impersonal feature of the Supreme, advancement is very troublesome. To make progress in that discipline is always difficult for those who are embodied. But those who worship me, giving up all their activities unto me, and being devoted to me without deviation, engaged in devotional service, and always meditating upon me, having fixed their minds upon me, O son of Pritha, for them I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. Just fix your mind upon me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and engage all your intelligence in me. Thus you will live in me, always, without a doubt. My dear Arjuna, O winner of wealth, if you cannot fix your mind upon me without deviation, then follow the regulative principles of Bhakti Yoga. In this way develop a desire to attain me. If you cannot practice the regulations of Bhakti Yoga, then just try to work for me, because by working for me you will come to the perfect stage. If, however, you are unable to work in this consciousness of me, then try to act giving up all results of your work and try to be self-situated. If you cannot take to this practice, then engage yourself in the cultivation of knowledge. Better than knowledge, however, is meditation, and better than meditation is renunciation of the fruits of action, for by such renunciation one can attain peace of mind. One who is not envious, but is a kind friend to all living entities, who does not think himself a proprietor and is free from false ego, who is equal in both happiness and distress, who is tolerant, always satisfied, self-controlled, and engaged in devotional service with determination, his mind and intelligence fixed on me. Such a devotee of mine is very dear to me. He for whom no one is put into difficulty, and who is not disturbed by anyone, who is equiposed in happiness and distress, fear and anxiety, is very dear to me. My devotee who is not dependent on the ordinary course of activities, who is pure, expert, without cares, free from all pain, and not striving for some result, is very dear to me. One who neither rejoices nor grieves, who neither laments nor desires, and who renounces both auspicious and inauspicious things, such a devotee is very dear to me. One who is equal to friends and enemies, who is equal poised in honor and dishonor, heat and cold, happiness and distress, fame and infamy, who is always free from contaminating association, always silent and satisfied with anything, who doesn't care for any residence, who is fixed in knowledge and who is engaged in devotional service, such a person is very dear to me. Those who follow this imperishable path of devotional service and who completely engage themselves with faith, making me the supreme goal, are very, very dear to me.